Peace, y'all. It's your boy Zulu King Street Fan 47. <laughs> hey, um. Hey, I want to talk to y'all about something, man. Hey, y'all gonna have to get off my dog, BG, man. I've been watching the internet, bro. And, uh, ever since BG came out, all y'all do is clown on my dog, man. Y'all riding on him. Y'all putting, uh, the little, little gay dude, the real weird looking gay dude. You got a underbite or whatever and weird ass body y'all putting that man face on his pictures i done seen tigger i done seen uh he got his head twisted up he moved his head i see i saying he gay because the way he moved his head and all that type of stuff um man you have to get off my dog man see this is what the problem is this is what the problem is a real one went to jail he did his bed, he did 14. He came home. He stood 10 toes down and then came home. He ain't never snitch. He ain't never rat. He ain't never fold. He never did none of that. And the first thing that y'all do is go to the internet to clown the man. That's the first thing y'all do. Is go to the internet to make fun of the man. You ain't even let the man. So what? He got the pedophile. Uh the chomo state glasses on nigga that's what they give niggas in jail bro those weird ass glasses on you know what i'm saying we call them the chomo glasses them big ass uh his is smaller than the one they give you in the state in florida down here the one they give you down here you look like that dude that's uh dama jeffrey dama looking ass glasses on you know what i'm saying and, and he and his dress is all dusty you know what i mean that's from the blanket bro Hey, the blanket in there is made out of wool or some shit. It's some fuzzy shit that's itchy as hell. You be itching, you know what I'm saying? And if you if, if you sleep under the blankets or whatever, that's in your beard, that's in your in your hair. You know what I'm saying? All the little dust bunnies, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? I let my hair grow. I got hair, yo. I just be shaving my hair because I'm tightening up my hair. I'm gonna finish it up. Yeah, but you know what I mean? I ain't there yet. But um, when you let your hair grow, man, you be combing it with the brush and you see all the little white dust and all that. That's from the blankets inside of the prison you know what i'm saying they they just leave fuzzballs all over the damn place so what the man he just got out of jail how y'all gonna clown this man dog but this is my issue y'all clowning the man that stood 10 toes down ain't never snitched on nobody or none of that did it 14 years and came home with an honor but but a snitch come home and y'all support him a snitch come home Y'all support him. Y'all cash out money. Y'all y'all throw parties for him. You know what I'm saying? Y'all invite him on all your platforms and all kinds of shit. Look at uh, Terrence Gangster Williams, nigga. Nigga ratted, bro. On dead people and on live people because people was calling from the jail saying, bro, he ratted on me, his roommate. It was like, he ratted on me. People was calling from the jail saying, you ratted on him, bro. But people put them put him on a platform Make sure he's straight. Make sure he getting money off his YouTube. All that. Da, 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 da. Put him up on a rat. Look at Gunner. Gunner came home. He's number one or whatever the hell is music. He's going to the tours and all this and that shit. But he a rat. I knew Gunner was a rat when he turned himself in. If you a millionaire and y'all caught up in the Rico act and you don't, you ain't get caught. You still free and you ain't leave the country. You got access to airplanes. You know what I'm saying? All of that. You a millionaire. You got access to airplanes. You got access to go to other countries that does not extradite back to the United States. But what you do, come turn yourself in. Boy, you finna tell. I already know you finna tell. As soon as they said Gunner turned himself in, I said Gunner finna tell. That's why he's turning himself. He already had a plea uh, worked out. Right, I'm gonna turn myself in. I'm gonna turn I'm gonna tell y'all everything. And y'all celebrate these niggas, bro. Y'all celebrate them, bro. I ain't with none of that, bro. There's only two people that ratted, and some people, like, it's controversial to me, you know what I'm saying? There's only two people that ratted that I would say that was famous that if I was to give a pass to, it would be them. But forget all that. We ain't gonna talk about that. We talking about y'all clowning on BG but celebrating these rats when they come home. You're clowning a real one that came home. He, he moved his head out of the way and he looking, he looking at the camera. He's all smiling. The man is happy. It's genuine happiness, bro. It's genuine happiness. You know what it is to do fourteen years? Do you know what it is to do a year? Do you know what it is to do a month, two months, three months, four months in confinement? Do you know what it is 
to not get visits to everybody that, that when you in there, you the man outside, but when you go in there, nobody know you. Everybody forget about you, all the hoes leave you, leave your side, all the niggas that was out there, they ain't sending you no bread, no nothing. 14 years. You don't see that man's eyes when he looking, when he, in that picture that he's in the car that they, they made a meme out of that shit. You don't see that man's eyes while he's looking straight ahead at the road. Like, he's looking like his eyes, you could tell it's pure happiness, but at the same time, he's like, wow, I'm free. That feeling. When the girls did his hair and she and she's braiding uh the camp uh, braiding his hair and she um put the camera in his face, they moved his he moved his head, they saying he gay and all that. He just looking like he looked like he's just camera shy, bro. The man just got out of prison from doing 14 years. And the first thing y'all doing is throw, you know what I'm saying? He got cameras in his face, he's walking up to him, trying to show him every little thing that he's doing. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't used to that. You know what I'm saying? But he's he could tell the man is genuinely happy to be out. He's happy to be free. And he did it ten, standing 10 toes down. He ain't snitch on nobody. So y'all need to tighten up, man. Just lay off my dog with that bullshit, man. That's a real one there. And, 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 and y'all go support the fake niggas. Let me tell you something about that. Y'all support the rats. You know why? Because rats support rats. Let me tell you something. Listen. If 80% of the people are supporting a rat like Gunner, that means... 80, those 80% of those people will tell. They'll tell. We're living in a time where telling is cool. So that's why you see more and more people supporting these rats. Because those people will tell. You got to realize, man. A lot of these people, like I see a lot of people, they be like on the internet. And they like internet famous and this and that. But in real life, I'll slap the shit out of you, my nigga. And beat you down. And, and, and I'll, put, I'll take your ass up through there. Believe that. It's just real life, but y'all do that shit on y'all talk all crazy on the, on the internet, but in real life you're not like that. You understand what I'm saying? So you gotta realize a lot of these people are internet gangsters and internet thugs. Like a lot of people be mad, oh so and so snitched. You're not even involved in the streets. You got a nine to five. Like you never was a street person. You never been to jail. What do you care about if somebody snitch? And why are you worrying about these street rules that don't apply to you? So a lot of these people that's, that support these snitches is because the, the people supporting them would tell. They're snitches too. The only people that support snitches is snitches. You understand? So that's to show you how many people out in this world are police will tell on you. Because they're supporting these people in front of your face actively. You know what I'm saying? They're supporting these people in front of your face actively. And the real ones, they shunning them, cause they can't, they can't, they can't uh, uh, relate to a real, a real person from the street, bro. They can't relate to those real people that live by these rules, that live that life, that stand with, that live that life and stand with honor. They, they don't, they, they can't, they can't relate to that. So they kind of uh, and push them away, but they get ready to the snitch. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of these people. Online, social media, and all that, they all fake. And they all probably gonna tell on you snitches and all that. So they support these snitches like Gunner and all these other ones. I would say 6ix9ine, but he's one of the people that I would not I would not consider him a snitch. You know what I'm saying? And y'all probably gonna get in my comments and throw tomatoes at me. Go ahead, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But beat me up in the comments. Listen, to me, he not a rat. He did rat, but after the fact type shit. You know what I'm saying? To me, he should not have never been in that. It's about to storm my head, yo. He should have never been in that position anyway because he was not a street nigga. Even the Snow Billy, Snow Billy told you that was his manager before. He was not supposed to be, he was supposed to be on cereal boxes and shit. He was not supposed to be no street gangster rapper, none of that. They tried to kill Snow Billy and, and, put, and push that gangster image on him. He was never a street nigga. So what do you expect from somebody that not from the streets, uh, aligns himself with a street gang. He's trying to show like, oh yeah, 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 I'm with the shits, but he's not. He walked into an indictment that been going on since 2013. He walked into an indictment, right? So now the, the feds run up on him and tell him, hey, bro, you might be in danger, whoop de whoop de whoop He still don't snitch. He still don't say nothing. He said, nah, I'm going to keep rocking. And he went out. 
It wasn't until all that stuff happened with a kidnapping and this and that and they robbed them and all this and that and then they got caught in an indictment and then what are you supposed to do? Be honorable to the people that's robbing and setting them up, stealing all his money? He ain't going to because he's not street. He was never street. Damn, they was doing this shit to me out here. Imagine if I go to jail with these niggas, bro. These niggas finna... So he's not going to. He's gonna be like, yo, listen. And he told because that indictment was going on since 2013. 2013... He didn't even know these niggas. He didn't know these niggas. He met them and, and within a year he was indicted. So he only knew them a year. So of course, so, but to me, he's not a street person. So he was just like bullied into that. But he was thought he was he thought he was that dude because he get around the people, he got the energy. He's like, yeah, yeah. So he trying to put hits, he got the bag. Six nine's not like that, bro. He was never like that. So to me, that whole situation is like, eh. And the other one is Sammy the Bull. Sammy the Bull. Sammy the Bull told on John Gotti, right? After they played the tape in court. He, they was in trial already. He ain't never snitch. He ain't never say nothing. They was in trial. And he was John Gotti's hitter. And John Gotti was going to kill him. And when they played the recording, that's when he said, Oh, shit. Yo, you was going to kill me? I'm your right-hand man after everything I did for you? His only move, they're already in trial. His only chess piece to push forward to hurt John as much as he was hurt was the rat on him. I'm not saying that he did the right thing, but that was, I'm saying in a war, in a game on a chessboard, that was his only play to hurt John Gotti. As much as he said, all right, well, I'm going to tell on you and bury you down. Why? Because John Gotti liked to be in front of the camera. John Gotti liked to be Hollywood. Why you think Sammy the Bull ain't got killed? How you an underboss? Sammy the Bull was an underboss and he told on the boss. How you an underboss, you snitch on the head, take down on uh, La Costra Nostra, and nothing happens to you? You do your time, and you're not in protective custody. He ain't do his time in protective custody. He did his time, mom ain't touch him. Mom kill everybody that snitch, and they family. They, they, they ain't playing. The mob don't play. They're not going to let you go if you snitch. Why they, ain't do, why, they ain't, why they ain't kill Sammy the Bull? They ain't want John Gotti. John Gotti was bringing too much attention to the mob. He was on the camera, front lines. They, he thought he was a movie star. They didn't want that. They kept telling him, stay out the camera, stay out the camera. So after uh, Sam, Sammy snitched on him, that's the way to get John Gotti out. And, they, and they, gave, they gave Sammy the bullet pass. They gave Sammy the bullet pass because he's supposed to be dead. It's the rules. The mob don't be breaking the rules like that. There ain't no way Sammy the Bull, you know what I'm saying? It's something behind the scenes that he ain't telling nobody else. That was just, that was just his only move to get at John Gotti and hurt him. I'm going to sink you there. You're going to sit in jail. That was it. That was his only, in a fight, and he hit him below the belt. That's what he did. But before that, he wasn't rat. So those are two weird situations to me that I was like, hmm. Other than that, y'all praise these rats. You know what I'm saying? These rats come home. Y'all put them on the YouTube. Y'all put them. Y'all put them in book them shows. They 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 become superstars, and y'all support them. So that shows me that most of the people, a higher percentage of people, are rats than they ain't. There's very few real ones left, man. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. And, 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 and just because I said uh, 6 9 the Sammy the Bulls, some situations, because, you know, people get on here and be like, oh, you're supporting rats. It ain't nothing like that. I'm just saying those are two situations that I wouldn't really say that it was like a rat. Like, because these cats, they get booked. Those are situations that these people was put in a situation where that was their, like, I feel like that was their only, that was their only lick back. You understand what I'm saying? Their only lick back was the rat on these people. You know what I'm saying? Now, you got people that, these people, like, they get caught in a Rico. You ain't got no reason to snitch. Everything's good. Nobody nobody did nothing to you or nothing. Now here you come and you tell them just because you don't want to do time. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? It's just a whole different situation to me in my eyes. But, yeah, man. Y'all lay off of BG, man. He a real one, man. Celebrate a real one, man. Y'all need to stop celebrating these fake ones, man. Celebrate a real one, man. Instead of Instead of making fun of him. You know what I'm saying? Instead of and posting all these memes on and all this and that. You know what I'm saying? Put them on your platforms, man. Let the man get some money. Celebrate a real one, man. Stop celebrating these fake niggas. These rats that y'all celebrate. Blow them up. <laughs>
crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy nowadays, man. But yeah, man. I just wanted to speak my thoughts on that because I'm kind of getting tired of seeing that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's disrespectful to the homie. So, uh, man, y'all be safe out there, man. It's your boys in the King Street fam. Y'all know what it is. We all gas, no brakes. If you ain't gonna be good, be safe, you know?